Welcome back, everybody, to another episode of CSK News. Hope you are all having a great day, great night, wherever you guys are around the world. Please remember to leave a comment down below what you guys think about today's episode of CSK News. First off, you guys saw it in the thumbnail. Our big story today involves Husky. I'll show his Steam profile on screen for all of you, as well as link it down below. Husky is the owner of one of the most expensive CSGO inventories as of right now. Not the most expensive, but definitely a top 10. His inventory is actually valued at over $180,000, which is an amazing inventory. I'll showcase it on screen for all of you guys. And this inventory has now been trade banned for nearly 300 days We actually ran a story about this last week And I asked Husky to reach out to us about why his account was actually trade banned Husky did get back to me I'll show the message on screen for all of you and it turns out for all those rumors out there He actually was and actually still is a co-owner of a popular trading site out there known as cs.money Now this is not a paid promotion for them But he gave me his story as to how his account with $180,000 in skins was actually trade banned and that means he cannot sell these skins He can't buy more skins. All he can do with them is actually use them in game, which is you know, obviously pretty worthless to a guy like this who has so much money on an account. He reached out to me and pretty much told me the explanation as to why. Now his actual account on screen for all of you once more was actually used as a mule account for several of the bots or the trading bots for CS.money and eventually this account was actually reported so many times allegedly for faking or scamming. Uh, you know, if you report an account on Steam so many times, of course they're going to look into it and he actually was trade banned. So it goes forth to show you. He also told me he's never scammed anyone now of course I can't you know tell you guys whether the honesty here is hundred percent or not obviously many trading sites out there you know case opening sites out there have some you know suspicious people working for them but he told me he has never scammed a single person on this account or any of his accounts but it was reported so many times that Steam did trade ban him so it goes to show you for all of you out there who hate trading sites or hate gambling sites out there if you report an account enough times you can get it trade banned so who knows whether these actual trades were scammed or who knows what actually happened to the account himself, but Husky was a co-owner of CS.Money, and that is why he actually got his account trade banned. And next up on CSGO News Stories, you, you idiots. Not necessarily you guys watching, but people out there, some of you are not so smart. I talk about this every single time we have a major, and many of you probably know this, and you're much smarter than these people, and I don't want to call these people out you know, individually because I don't know who they are, but I do want to discuss why you guys should not buy CSGO gold player stickers as of right now. And first off, the primary reason is these prices will drop, but we've had some crazy people out there buying golden autograph stickers. I told you last episode, if you open Legend and Challengers autograph stickers right now, you have a small chance to get gold autograph stickers stickers like the ones on screen. Yes, they are pretty cool, but they will go down in price. Now, of course, we don't know the rarity as of right now for these gold autograph stickers, so people are buying them. I'll ch discuss right now the top three that have been sold, one of which has been Kenny S. Kenny S, time and time again, major, major after major, has been one of the most highly actual sought after stickers out there. His gold stickers have actually had one sell over $150, and three total have sold over $130 each. I guarantee you guys the prices will go down, especially when these things get open more and more, but someone out there spent over $150 on one single Kenny S gold sticker, which certainly is probably not worth that. Now, we also have Stewie 2K. He had a couple stickers actually sell. One sold out for over $120 and one just under $115 or right around there. So Stewie 2K also very sought after his second major of all time, so that does make sense. And third on the list has actually fallen. He's had a couple sell for some high prices, one for just under $80 as well. So for all of you people out there who are buying golden autograph stickers, please be smart, guys. Please don't buy them quite yet. You do not need to. I assume the prices will go down. Of course, I don't know for sure, but for all you people out there who were buying those stickers, just be careful. Now, speaking of Fallen and SK Gaming, you guys remember ESL Clone Finals just yesterday, a great best of five finals for SK as a 3-0 swept Cloud9. Now, apparently, just afterwards, though, they were actually deducted from their prize, their prize winnings, and the reasoning behind that was pretty simple. I'll show you guys what SK was doing on screen with this clip right now. Both of these teams will be at the major next week. One Indeed. of them a double champion, not defending champion this time, but a double champion from last year, no less. And pretty straightforward for all of you guys who know the rule books for major events out there, or most events out there, you cannot talk during technical timeouts or technical pauses. That means not a pause set by either team, but a pause set by the staff there for technical issues. Now, obviously on screen, you guys saw SK was clearly typing to each other. They were talking about strats for the next round, which you're not allowed to do. So as of right now, we don't know the amount that's deducted from their prize pool winnings, but that was the actual offense or the actual violation they had to face there. Kind of unfair, I thought. Maybe 
maybe that because they were caught in the act. They were actually caught during the match. For all of you guys who do not know that, they were not caught afterwards. They were told to stop immediately afterwards, as told to us by this ESL official. Now, instead of charging the team in a, a timeout, which I thought would be more fair, they had timeouts to give, so why not just charge them an extra timeout? Instead, ESL waited to after the event to announce this, and they'll be taken away from their prize pool money, which makes sense from an event you know, from event standing because, of course, they'd love to take their money back instead of just charging the team a timeout, which wouldn't make them any money. So that was the official rule there for SK Gaming. Now, bouncing off that to a next organization, we do have Team HR, Hellraisers. Their CEO did take to Reddit as well. He posted this long story on screen, pretty much saying he will be moving on with his esports career away from Hellraisers. As of right now, this has nothing to do with their current results or their recent results at the major qualifier. They did fall just short. They fell to Immortals in their final matchup. They went 2-3 and three and placed 9th through 11th, so they just missed the major. That has nothing to do with that result right there. So I can't really pronounce his name for all of you, but the Hellraisers CEO will be leaving and potentially going to another team out there in the CSGO scene. We have no idea as of right now. People out there speculating that Flipside Tactics could be a target for him, but the Hellraiser CEO has officially left. And as always, quick updates for the OP Skins Army. I seriously can't thank you guys enough. I am now currently, I actually tweeted out this earlier today, I am making way more money from OP Skins referrals than I do through YouTube, and that supports me so much. So thank you guys for that. Our OP Skins Army is approaching 600 members. That is, that's insane to me to think about. I say this every episode, guys, but thank you so much for all of you guys who have used my OP Skins affiliate code. Even if you guys already have an OP Skins account, all you do is click on that, sign in, and I then I, I you're actually an affiliate of mine, and it makes me a small, small percentage of money. But seriously, thank you all so much. Almost 600 of you guys have done that, and I cannot thank you enough. But anyway, now on to our last stories for today's episode of CSGO News. And earlier this week from Astralis' very own Zipnex, he tweeted out this actual brand new design for his major sticker. Now, obviously, a couple of days ago, we had the major stickers released, and that was not the one that was shown. It was actually this one on the screen with a smiley face, because according to him, he actually submitted this new design before the deadline Valve gave to him, but Valve was kind of lazy on their part, and they decided to go with the old one instead, even though he beat the deadline. So kind of unfortunate. I'm sure Zipnex's stickers will still sell just fine, but maybe in the future, his new designs, his cooler designs, will go through by Valve's part. We've seen Valve's mishaps and their laziness so far with the Gambit stickers, the Penta stickers, but kind of unfortunate here for Zipnex, but I'm sure he'll do just fine with sticker sales. Now on top of that, I do want to talk about Liquid Pimp or former Liquid Pimp. They did release him officially yesterday from his contract, so it's going to be cool to see what teams have interest in him, and I guarantee you guys, after or before the next major, most likely after, because that major does start next weekend, there are going to be several teams out there with interest in this rifler slash secondary opper, maybe Optic Gaming, more likely Dignitas, or maybe even North for AZ. I guarantee you some big changes are coming soon, and Pimp will be involved in that. Definitely a sought-after North American player there, so congrats to him on being released, and best of luck to him in the future. As always, hope you guys all enjoyed this episode of CSGO News. If you guys did, please leave a, leave a like. That'd be, I mean, that'd be nice. You guys don't have to. Uh, that'd be stupid. As always, live, love, laugh, laugh. My name is Jake. My ride like you. I will see you guys all tomorrow. Remember, I like you.